Hey guys, I'm Miao with Xinhua News Agency. So today is a big day as just in a few hours, China will be celebrating the centenary of the Communist Party of China in Tiananmen Square in the heart of Beijing. So let's go check it out together. Some of you may already know the CPC was funded in 1921 in Shanghai, and it has been China's ruling party since 1949. In the beginning, it only had a few dozen members, but now it boasts more than 95 million members from all walks of life, making it the biggest political party in the world. Not many people outside China are aware that the CPC is not China's only political party. There are eight other political parties, as well as prominent individuals without affiliation to any of the political parties, that help run the country and supervise the overall system. So it's a unique model of multi-party cooperation and political consultation under the leadership of the CPC. This is my spot and some of my colleagues are here too, on the viewing stand to the west of the Tiananmen Rostrum, where Chairman Mao declared the funding of the People's Republic of China and also where China's top leaders have attended many grand ceremonies. Morning from the Tiananmen Square, as we're watching the sunrise and waiting for the celebration to start, you can see that the square is all dressed up. What stands out in the square were three huge signs, 1921, 2021, and the CPC's emblem. The CPC's emblem is a stylized version of the hammer and sickle. It reflects the CPC's role as the vanguard of the working class, representing the interests of the Chinese people. For those who haven't been to the symbolic political heart of China, Tiananmen Square lies between two ancient gates, Tiananmen to the north and Zhenyangmen to the south. Along the west side of the square is the Great Hall of the People. In the middle are the monument to the people's heroes and the mausoleum of Mao Zedong. Along the east side of the square is the National Museum of China. And in front of the square, Chang'an Avenue is a major thoroughfare in Beijing, often used for parades. CPC members attending an event like this will usually wear their party badge. Check it out at the top. There is the uh, party flag displaying the party emblem. Color red symbolizes revolution and color yellow signifies brightness. And below the flag, there is the slogan Wei Ren Bing Fu Wu, serving the people, which is the fundamental tenet of the CPC. And CPC members usually wear the badge on the left side of their chest. So now the performance down there are ready and the guests here are seated on the stands. Let's go and see who we can speak to. From Tiananmen Rostrum, General Secretary of CPC Central Committee Xi Jinping delivered an hour-long speech before a 70,000 strong crowd. He said China is now marching toward its second centenary goal of becoming a great modern socialist country in all respects. This historic event also witnessed a chorus of party songs, a fly past of fighter jets and helicopters, a 100-gun salute, and a flag-raising ceremony. <笑>我想成为中共老人今天来参加庆祝我们中国共产党一百周年这个纪念大会我觉得特别感动特别激动我觉得今天总书记讲的话呀让我们真是心潮澎湃而且我们更加坚定了我们要干好第二个一百年的
no doubt that the CPC has shaped China's modern history, guiding the nation from the ashes of war to global power status. Despite the uncertainty in the international arena, the CPC enjoys unparalleled support on the domestic front. So for the CPC and for China, to celebrate is to communicate and also to take on new challenges, whatever those challenges may be. See you next time.